Oh my God, that was so dead. What an anti-climax. I can't believe it. This idiot girl, Molly, or whatever her name is, yeah? She did all this theatrics, all this crying, shedding eye water. For what? For you to go back to flipping Joseph Fritzl, Luca 2.0. The brother that's probably going to put you in a headlock and them things there. Oh, my God. The girl is an idiot. I swear down. I don't even believe her tears. I swear down. She, bro, she's an absolute wallad, an absolute nincompoop. This girl, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just realised today as well, yeah, that she, she's into all that like, acting stuff, that theatre stuff, innit? So, all of this stuff, yeah. I Oh, my God. Oh, I... I, <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I swear down. I really can't believe it. The past couple of days literally been about this Molly girl. It's been about Molly flipping gallows that Rapunzel and them things there. Goldilocks, little red riding hood and them things there. Nobody don't care about this. Bro, come on, man. This year was meant to be about some spice, some flavours and them things there. And it's... Anyway, bro, let's just talk about tonight. Imagine someone on Twitter, yeah, started calling Zachariah, Zachaliah. <laughs> Oi, the internet stays undefeated, I'm telling you. Zachaliah. <laughs> that was so simple but so effective. I like it. I love it a lot. I'm going to be using that over here. Zachaliah, that's what man called him, you know. Because my man, he's a, yo, he's a proper player, you know. The boy's a player. The boy's a player. The... <laughs> I swear down. This guy... Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk some more about him later on, yeah. So tonight's episode started with Tyreek and Ella just chilling and them things. I think Ella was picking his brain about um Sammy wanted to pick speak to her or if the next man come in, how would he feel? Tyreek, oh hey, Tyreek, I said it before. The brother is cool as a cucumber, cool as the other side of the pillow. He's an F boy, but I like him. He's got charisma, he smiles while he's telling you he's gonna F other girls. <laughs> In your face and everything there. But yeah, um, Ella was up picking his brain. Because I think Ella's proper growing more and more into him and them things there, yeah? Like, liking him more and more. But Tyreek, I feel like it's going to stay Tyreek. You ain't changing that, brother. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, he was just there. She was asking him all these questions, picking his brain. He don't care. JME style. Man don't care about all that. Tyreek is just trying to dip his stick like he's checking the oil in his car and them things there. That's all he's trying to do. Then it got to the boy Mitchell. Mitchell, yeah, Mitchell's a little waste man still. You know how I feel about Mitchell. He's a little, he's not even wet, he's moist. He's damp. You know them ones there? Just humid you. Anyway, yeah. Mitchell was outside talking to um the brother Sammy. Sammy, yeah, I don't know what is I don't know what it is about him, bro. His eyelid, his eyebrow, it looks like he just got two years he just stick to his eyelid. <laughs> some Yeezys on his eyelid. Looks like he's got some duct tape or some electric tape stuck to his... Yo, his eyebrow just look mad, bro. I don't know. Does anyone else see it or is it just me? <laughs> like, his eyebrow is so mad, yeah? Even the normal ones looking at the mad one like, yo, fam, you're good. <laughs> yo, his eyebrows mash up still. He looks like Captain Birdseye's grandson as well. Like, he just looks like he shouldn't be there. He looks... I don't know. I don't know, he just, he just, he looks like a nerd. I'm not going to lie. I don't, he, he's a bit of a creep as well. TLC vibe. So I uh, creep, he's a creep, I'm telling you. Say stuff to Molly like, oh, oh, do you want me to show you where you're going to be sleeping tonight and all them things there? Move, man, you little waste, man. You little hairy eyelid, you. I, listen, <laughs> I don't know about this, you, you know. He looks like an Algerian pest controller and them things there. He just looks, <laughs> but yeah, he was talking to Mitchell outside anyway. And and I think Mitchell don't want him to be moving to his thing, and he don't want him to be moving to Molly. But my man don't care. <laughs> he don't care about all that. My man went to move to it straight after. That's how much he didn't care. He went straight. <laughs> Oi! Molly was all crying and stuff. This girl, her and the waterworks. Bro, the amount of waterworks she displays, you could run a bath with it. You could spray some petulas with it and them things there. This girl, I swear. But anyway, she was crying, yeah. And a few of the girls, Whitney and a couple of the girls, Catherine, there was comfort in her, making her, like, trying to let her know she, she's doing the right thing. That don't worry about this little loser, Mitchell, Billy Mitchell and them things there. And then um, I think after, 
the little pirate brother, um, Captain Birdseye's grandson, Sammy, came and grabbed her for a chat and all that stuff. And he took her to the corner and they was chatting. The way he talks as well is a bit annoying because he doesn't really actually open his mouth or pronounce his words properly. He's just, uh, yeah, you know, like, uh, uh. like it's a, I don't know. He talks, he talks like a drunk iguana or something. He just talks bare mad and stuff. His hair, he just looks like he just, he uses too much brill cream, too much gel in it and them things there. Do you know what, yeah? He kind of reminds me of one of them brothers from Gogglebox. I don't even know their name. He looks like, I don't know, he looks like one of them brothers from Gogglebox. He looks like that's the type of program that he should be on and them things there. Anyway, after he's spoken to um Molly and chatting, Bear was to her, Bear dead, breath must have smelled like batty and them things there. Just chatting, Bear poop. Anyway, he went and drew Jess for a chat after they was chatting. See... Jess is into him, yeah, but he's not really into Jess. He's using Jess like how Tyreek is using Jess as an option, even though she read it wrong and picked him in the end and all that stuff, yeah? He's not really into Jess. He's into Molly. Everyone is into Molly. Like, they're on Molly in it to be into Molly. And what's mad as well is that Ella is hoping that Sammy would be into Jesse, so Jesse won't be on flipping Tyreek's case anymore and them things there. Because I know she's a bit threatened there, because even though Tyreek's told her it's nothing, He's still going there, get me, he's still trying to pinch your nipples, trying to go, yeah, me, yeah, 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 You know what Tyreek's like, you know what I mean? But if that's what she's trying to do to try to keep Tyreek away, then that's not the right person for you. You know them ones there, but then it's not the outside it's Love Island to game. So I don't know, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, the waste man, Mitchell or Molly, because this whole episode was about them, yeah? Mitchell or Molly had a little chat and stuff, yeah? And they basically had it out. He's telling her, like, do you know what? He was in, after he kind of got with her, that he likes her. He's not really open to other people and them things there. He's kind of, he's closed himself off. But yo, see her, yeah? Brother, she's open like a foster home and them things there. She's open like a community centre and you're trying to tie her down. The brother's trying to tie her down like a gazebo. Trying to tie her down like some, I don't know, like some canoe or something. It's not going to work, brother. You're, you're moving too desperate, bro. Bro, I, sw I just want to dash some sesame seeds in his eyes. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't even know what's wrong with Mitchell either, to be honest. That's why he's moving mad, trying to lock down the girl. The girl don't want to be locked down. You know what I'm saying? Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be. She don't want to be saved, man. What's wrong with this brother? This guy's ready to go to the altar and get married right now on some jagged edge. Meet me at the altar in Joe. Nah, brother. This girl looking to play the field like Mo Salah. Trust me. <laughs> the world is an oyster. Bear Willie's out there for her to explore. Like, why is she... No, I'm saying... Like, come on, man. She wants to be the internet explorer of Willie's. You know what I mean? Like, don't tie her down. <laughs> Mitchell. Allow it, innit? it? He's getting on my nerves. This whole storyline is dead. I'm not going to lie. They need to allow it. We need to see... We need to see Catherine. We need to see um, Rushi. Andre. Other people that's going to make this show exciting. Oh, yeah, I'm loving Medi and Fig. <laughs> Zesty papi. Zesty papi. <laughs> Medi and um, Whitney. I'm, I'm loving their little... Hear yeah, me? I'm liking this still. Anyway, after Mitchell and Molly's little chat, yeah... Molly had to go off crying in it. Another crying session. Bro, fam, I would have dashed a red onion in the back of her scalp if she wants something to cry for. What's wrong with this girl? Why is she always crying? She went off crying. Ain't nobody care about that. Ain't nobody got time for that and all them things there, yeah? Then Mitchell went and sat down with um, Jess and he was talking to Jess and he was talking about how, like, when he likes someone, he's tunnel vision, like El Chapo and them things there. He didn't say that. That's my boss. He, he's dumb, he can't, you know what I'm saying? That's my boss. But he's saying he's tunnel visioned and very, very, very proper into them and all this. Jess, yeah, Jess is a funny one, you know? You notice Jess was playing both sides. When Jess was with a Mitchell, she was saying one thing. And then when Jess was with a Molly later, she said the next thing. Yo! Bro! But yeah, Mitchell was spinning his heart to her. He was all like, like, the bro, he was all emotional. His voice was all cracking like microwave popcorn and them things there. His voice was proper cracking and stuff like <laughs> Waste man. Oi, man like Mendy tried to move to Whitney, you know. He goes, uh, you know, you are you are beautiful. You are someone I would usually go for, you know. When we have croissant and tea and you know, and drink it like this, you know. Me and you we can stick together because you look like a boss lady. Va va you know. <laughs> 
Bro, it's funny because I'm glad she picked him. I'm so glad. Because, yo, Zesty Pappy deserves some love as well. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think him and Whitney are a match, but he deserves to stay in the show. George, bro, I swear that was Dasha Radiator, George. <laughs> I swear down, little racist waste man. When George started speaking to um, um Whitney and he was trying to like maneuver a way to like stay in because obviously they knew the girls was picking and stuff, yeah? When he was trying to like talk to her, yo, that whole George and Whitney thing just came out of nowhere. I'm not going to lie, that came out of nowhere. I'm thinking, that's like flipping Tommy Robinson and flipping Ella Rose dating. That's the weirdest partnership ever. It's not going to work. You know that one's there? Then after all the dramas with Molly and her crying and the, the, the dramas with uh, Mitchell, Sammy trying to try his chances on her, guess what she goes and do? This girl is a scandalous trash bag. She is binge you. She is, I don't know, she is like bottom tier, I swear down. Then she goes down and sit with Zach. Oh, I want to sit with you because, you know, I don't want to have to think about anything. I'm most comfortable with you, bro. bro. No, you're most comfortable in the bin, you waste man. This girl, yeah, I'm telling you, she's trash. This Molly, I don't even know why everyone's going after her. Like, usually when people are going after people, like, I can see, like, like, I'm not saying she's ugly. I just, bro, like, if I walk past her on the road, and I walk past her in the phone box. I probably, re probably remember the phone box first. You know them ones there. Anyway, we didn't really see Catherine much in this episode. Or even yesterday. Like, we're not really seeing Catherine that much. I'm not really liking that. Because it's all about Molly. Like, come on, man. I'm not feeling this, man. You lot started so well. Don't mash it up now, man. Where's, where's Catherine? Yo, when I saw her tonight. You know when tonight, nighttime. When the nighttime came and everyone's dressed up. The girl is... Ah! Oh! Anyway, she looks so, she looks so so beautiful. But we're not seeing them. We're not seeing much of Rushi and and, and Andre. But well, go on, man. Show us. You know what I'm saying? You put, you put the people in there. Show it. Show them to us. Show man George, bro. George of the jungle, fam. Anyway, I don't think anything else eventful happened in the show. Tonight was pretty much about who's gonna get kicked out. We was all hoping, fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. You know what I'm saying? Eyes crossed. Just all hoping it was this. This brother, this brother George, yeah, and good riddance. You know what I'm saying? Gone. You know what's funny as well, yeah? When he was talking to Whitney and he was talking about him being out of his comfort zone. <laughs> bro, the brother, you've been out of your comfort zone. Fam, bro, man would have taken him on an unwarranted trip to Lagos, bro, right to the sticks. Man beat him up with bamboo and them things there. <laughs> Bamboo treatment. <laughs> but yeah, man. Nah, I'm glad that didn't take the, the turn that I thought it was going to take. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, in the end, they all had their picks. Ella picked first. She picked Tyreek, which I was happy about. Rushi picked Andre. It looks like they finally made it official. Get this, this. Get me. Catherine. I love Catherine. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. So I. I can't really talk bad about her like that because she's she's not doing much. It's the brother Zach. Bro, you see he's thinking before the picking as well, talking about how, oh, she should pick him because he picked her. So it will mean that she really likes him. Brother! Someone needs to bust his head with an Evian bottle. I swear down, the brother is he's cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. He's not all there. What the hell is he talking about? Anyway, Catherine picks him. Boo! Molly picks flipping Mitchell. I was like, what? And the way she was making a speech as well, I thought she was going to pick Eyebrow Brother and Sammy, but she picked Mitchell and... What? All that... These people are idiots. And then Jess... Jess thinks she's found a new pa partner in Sammy. But Sammy don't like her. Brother, which left Whitney to pick between Medi and George and obviously she picked Medi. Yeah! <laughs> Gang business. And... I didn't see no Sunday night. Like, well gone. Well gone for that. Guys, let me know what you think of tonight's episode, man. Ain't really the best, but you know what I'm saying? We still here. You know how we do? 9 p.m. gang. Hit that sub button for me if you're new here. Comment, share, like, subscribe. You know how we do, gang.